Yo, what's going on everybody? Miko here and welcome to this video. So, in this video, I am going to be talking about a problem that I've noticed a lot, a lot of my athletes uh, have and just athletes in general I've noticed have this and that problem is perfectionism. Now, perfectionism in its extremes can cause depression, anxiety, it can make your life just miserable because you're just never satisfied you you're always thinking that you fell short and when you begin to identify yourself as that I am failure I am you know this I am that no wonder these mental disorders start to come up and it's just not a fun way to live and I think sports sometimes get a negative stigma almost because of this i mean i don't know i understand the mental disorder has have negative stigmas but i think that sports almost get like blamed for this problem because uh you see this perfectionism causing these mental disorders mainly in college athletes and it's not the sport it's the perfectionism because rather than realizing that they're humans realizing that <clears throat> You can't do everything necessarily. Uh, of course, they're going to have depression or anxiety if they're, you know, trying to literally do everything and trying to do it perfectly. Now, perfectionism is definitely not the same thing as having high standards. Like, I have high standards. I hold myself to high standards. Uh, I am busy. I work a lot. I have things that I like to get done. I like to get A's. I like to do this. I like to do that. But the thing is, I don't identify myself with the failures. I learn from the failures. I learn from, you know, the B's, the C's, the F's, whatever it is. I learn from those. I don't label myself as the failure, whether it be, you know, getting a B instead of a C, you know, uh, losing the game, uh, getting fired from a job, whatever it is. I don't label myself as that. I learn from it. And... I think that's where perfectionists tend to, they tend to come short and this is really where a lot of the stress and anxiety and depression come from. So if you are a perfectionist out there, first off, recognize that you have the problem. Just becoming aware of it itself will already start to put you on the path to, you know, fully coming to terms with it. Now, another thing that really helps is if you realize that it's not serving you. Because one thing to recognize, it will be like, oh, well, yeah, I'm a perfectionist. And then, you know, you show off and you tell everybody, like, yeah, yeah, I'm a perfectionist. Because I know a lot of people like, like that. Like, that's their thing. They're perfectionists. And perfectionists have some good qualities. Don't get me wrong. They work really hard. They strive for their best. And it's a lot of good qualities. But those bad qualities sometimes can outweigh the good ones. And you can still have those good qualities without being a perfectionist. So, you know, recognizing that itself will already start helping you. And then the biggest thing is start, you know, accepting imperfection. That those three things right there will definitely, if not cure you of your perfectionist perfectionism, it will put you well on your way to avoiding having these mental disorders that can potentially come from being a person who is a perfectionist. Uh, I'd love to hear from you guys though, so if this video was helpful for you at all, subscribe, uh, leave a comment, leave a like, love hearing from you guys. Alright, I will see you guys in the next video.